for those of you who did not come to the actual um, symposium and, and, and uh, art show, I just want to let you know it was so fabulous. Like, it was so amazing. Um, it, it started off a bit rocky, but it's, it's just like a wedding. One of those, you know, sometimes when things start off a bit rocky, it's, it's something amazing that, that God wants to do. And that's exactly how it ended up turning out. Um, and so I just want to give you a little bit of background about um, how this, this whole collection came about. And it's like the more and more I dig into how the collection came about, it's like I keep digging further and further back. And it's just like never ending. But um, maybe about a year and a half ago, um, I was in a prophetic prayer session and um, we were doing uh, prayer and meditation uh, to, to worship music. And I started having this vision of um, a ballerina dancer. Like this was the first time I ever had a, a, like a vision like this while I was praying and she was worshiping. But when she was worshiping, there was all of these different elements going on. And I wrote that down and um, there were some odd things that happened. And I, and I thought, well, maybe it's just me. And as I began to research and pray into it, I found out that it was way more going on that um, was real than I, than I even knew. And so it's been a journey for almost a year and a half of God unveiling of revealing what worship really is and that it's not just music, singing and dancing, but it's way more in depth than that. And so that's really the beginning of um, how this, I would say, God preparing me for this. Um, as I shared at the art symposium, I do everything, but I don't paint. And I want to keep saying that because, you know, everyone looks at the paintings and I'm like, oh, wow, the paintings are so nice. But when you really consider the fact that I'm not a per I don't pick up a paint and paintbrush and paint often ever. It's really a miracle. <laughs> you know, it's miraculous. And that's what I feel like, you know, I want to get across today that this art collection is God's miraculous happening. I feel like the Holy Spirit literally set on me, gave me the ability to paint, literally, to see what God wanted me to translate and gave me the gift to do that. And so that's the first thing that I really, I don't want any credit for how wonderful these paintings are. I want God to get all the glory because although I'm very creative and I can draw a little bit, these paintings are extremely detailed and this gift only came from God. That's the first message I feel like I'm supposed to sound out is that there are some giftings I believe that is inside of all of us and I think we're in a season now where God is getting ready to begin to uh, pull those gifts out and give people the ability to do things to show his glory that they weren't able to do on their own. So um, that's really, uh, uh, I think the purpose for him giving me the ability to do uh, these paintings. Um, and so here's another thing that God said to me. Out of nowhere, I heard the Holy Spirit say, Time and space are important. I've learned that because God likes to use me as a creative vessel, that when I hear God say anything, I write it down because I never know what he's talking about half the time. And my stewardship of writing these things down as an artist and just as a person who loves to hear from God, I think is the reason why um, I don't miss anything. I don't miss anything. And so when God said time and space are important, I had no idea what he was getting ready to unveil and show me. Um, this whole thing, this conversation about sound, I know I'm on the line with some people who understands that this is the conversation of the hour. Like everybody is talking about the sound, that God is starting, you know, doing something with the sound. So I am not the only person that is speaking about the sound. And I know my sister Evelyn on the line can attest to that because we talk about, you know, we, we, we're on the prayer uh, chat often. Uh, please mute your, your cameras. Thank you. Um, but when I first started my organization, I Am A Vessel, um, I, I did my first art exhibit, which was a community art exhibit. And when I was putting together uh, the piece um, to, to, to kind of like do like a, a promo, Something in me just 
just belted out this right here. I said, I'm a vessel. We are creating new sounds. I didn't know what I was talking about when I said that. But we are in a time where uh, God is trying to get through a new sound. And today, I think that uh, when I share the artwork with you, um, you'll be able to see why that's so important and what the artwork is unveiling in terms of sound. Now, that's my introduction. And I've been trying to kind of kill time to give people uh, more time to come on. But I think I should just keep on going. What y'all think? So I want to share with you guys um, just a couple of little tidbits of what um, God is saying through the, the artwork just so that y'all can be with me. So when I present the artwork to you, here's what you're going to see. That God is one, revealing his heart, his power, and mysteries of heaven and earth. Because the sound board is about a reflection of sound from somewhere else. And this is, a ref the paintings is a reflection of the sound from heaven. He's also revealing his design of time, space, matter, and how everything is predicated on sound. So inside of these paintings, it's scientific meaning in these paintings. Um, it is, it's, it's, it's earthly understandings inside of these paintings. And that's the other miraculous part about this, that I have the responsibility of, of getting people to see when I share this artwork, that God is literally talking about science and these, and these uh, paintings. What's, what's so significant about that? Because we like to separate science and spirituality. And <clears throat> I think that what God is revealing through this artwork is that it's time for us to put it all together that he is the creator of all things, anything that has ever been thought of, um, he, he's, he's responsible for it. And he's speaking through this artwork in this way. So within these paintings are signs, symbols, literally mathematic equations um, that connect with visions and words that God gave me along the way. And so it's almost like I, I had an issue with trying to condense what I was going to present to you guys because over the last, I would say about five months, there has been an outpour, a heavenly outpour of God's heart daily to me in words that would then help me understand what it was that I painted. Um, and it's, it's like, it's never ending. So the soundboard revelation came from um, a few main paintings. And so I'm gonna share with you um, the first painting, which is the main painting um, that I've been, been sharing. But today I'm going to go a little bit deeper so you can understand what I mean by that it's filled with science, math, um, God's heart, um, his creation and who he is. And I, I feel like it's literally God speaking. I feel like, this is what I feel like, guys. I feel like the Lord literally came down from heaven and took a seat and began to say, this is who I am. This is what I want people to know about me. My people are missing so much about me. And I want you to paint who I am. And so I feel very honored. I feel very privileged to be sharing this with you all today, which is why today is called the Soundboard Part 2, because we're going to get a little bit more up close and personal with the actual painting.